Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today we are going to work on angel wings. Aren't these so sweet? And the angel wings can really be used for a number of things. I originally envisioned it as a photo prop opportunity for you to be able to put it on top of a big pillowy cloud and take a picture of your baby um, with their little naked bottom facing up and it on top of the baby. Isn't that sweet? You could even stitch this to a, um, a lacy headband and put it around them as long as it's loose and to keep it on a little longer or just gently lay it on. Um, you make these separate. We make two of them and then just connect them in the middle just by tying a knot with your loose ends. And um, we're going to get started. What you want is, um, oh, and the other thing is, is, you know, you can use it for a memorial um, or something and add it to another blanket or add it to whatever you like. Um, even add it to a teddy bear. So uh, let's get started with your materials you're going to need. This is um, Bernat baby blanket yarn. Uh, you can use the Bernat solid or striped or whatever you want. Um, it's a boucle type yarn with a, a thread right in the middle. You can actually pop and pull it without having to use scissors. And I am using this light teal color here. And we're going to make a cloud. You can make it in white too. Uh, this is an 8 millimeter L, USL or 8 millimeter hook from Clover. And uh, let's, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to um, start with a chain of 21 if we're using a smaller yarn. Um, if you want some big giant wings, then uh, you can use the big Bernat yarn and you can actually use a big old giant US 50 or 25 millimeter hook. And, um, but if you chain 21 on that, it's still gonna be monster. So this is the ratio for this size. If you wanna change your size, you may have to just experiment. Um, I'm gonna start with a chain of 21. We're going to make our slip knot, okay, and then we're going to start with row one of the pattern. So let's do chain 21. One, two, three, 19, 20. Oh, 21. Okay, what this is, is it is a um, multiple of two plus three. So whatever it is, you, you can do an even number and you really can add one, but um, so make sure that your number is, um, so my number is 18 and then I'm adding three. So that's what makes 21. Okay, so row one, we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So I'm gonna figure out where this is. So we've got one, two, three, go right inside and then make sure that you have two loops on the top here. So pull that through, okay? And then you got three loops on your hook here. When you yarn over, you're gonna have four, so you're gonna pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So that is your double crochet, third from the hook. Then we're gonna skip. So the row one is the only one that's different, okay? We're gonna skip the next two chains and we're gonna get into the main part of the pattern. So that was, a, that was one there, so we're gonna skip one, two, and I kinda just push on this thread that's in here, and then I'm gonna go into the, the third here. So, whoops, and yeah, we're gonna do single crochet, go straight in, yarn over, pull through both of them, okay? Now we're gonna yarn over and go right into that stitch again. Go in, pull through one, you got three, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that one more time, yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, wrap and pull through two, wrap and pull through two. So that is the textured stitch. Single, double, double. Then you're gonna skip over two more. So one, two, yeah, hang on a second. That's one, that's two, and that's three. The first chain is the, with going through the foundation chain I think is harder because it's harder to see that um, so I kind of feel my way on it and it takes me longer. The rest of the pattern actually flies once you get going. So I did a single and a double. Now I'm doing the second double. And if you want to see it slower, the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket tutorial, actually I go much slower. So one, two, three. Okay. 
we're just going to repeat all the way down the line. And if it's hard for you to see, um, or you're visually impaired, <clears throat> I count my stitches by just feeling them. So I feel, okay, I've got one thing, one, two things, three things, because it is so thick. So I, I kind of look across here and I go, oh, did I miss something? And then, you know, of course, if you messed up, you can always pop it out and frog it back rip out that last few stitches that's the beautiful part about crochet it's it's easier to do that so there's that one one two three you can also kind of fudge this pattern so if you're like oh my gosh I'm missing a stitch I didn't do enough well it's fine you can kind of fudge the first row it's really not going to be a huge deal One, two, three, getting that third chain. So skip two, do the single. Okay. And then I've got this last one here. And then what I'm going to do is do a single crochet on the very last stitch. So I'm just going to pull through, single crochet, leave this tail just hanging. And then um, we're going to start on row two. Row two is chain two and turn. This is row two. Now, the difference on the wing pattern versus the blanket pattern is I'm going to actually stop short two. Okay. So that means two chains. I'm going to stop short, um, actually stop short two of them here. So like, let's look at this for a second. So I just, I just worked this stitch all the way down. Okay. So I just came back. Now I'm headed back this way. I'm going to stop short. So this little wing comes out like that. Okay. So row two starts double crochet in that first stitch here. And one more. All the rows will now start with two double crochets in that first stitch. Because with your first chain, that counts as your single, so you've got a single double double. Then we're going to come over and bypass this chain here, this chain here, and go into this little hole here for the third chain. Okay? So that's that's the same thing. So you, you skip those two chains and then you go in. It, it's very apparent after you do that first row of what what is uh, what is available to you to use. So single double double is the texture stitch. And that's that marshmallow. Single double double. Single, double, double. Okay, so I have um, three of these left. You can see there's like a pillowy edge here, here, and here. Okay, those are three texture stitch. We are stopping two short from the end. So this will be one, two. I would normally go in here and do a single crochet to start, but it's also the way that I end a row. So I am now done with my row after I do a single crochet here. Now I'm just going to repeat row two on all these rows, but I just make them different at each time. So I'm going to um, chain one, two, and we're going to repeat row two to the end of the full row like the regular blanket. Okay. So single crochet, I'm sorry, double crochet. I said single, I meant double. And another crochet, right? Tilt it over. Okay. Keep going, single. Okay. 
again, for a, sh a slower video, uh, check out the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket tutorial. And I also have some videos from myself and from Mikey that he has uploaded to my channel personally because I've done some videos on his and he has some beginner crochet videos that go super slow and they show how to uh, do a single crochet and a double um, in a very um, slow format even holding your yarn. Okay, so now I'm at the end. The standard way to end a baby blanket is to go and do a single crochet in that very last stitch, okay, and finish that out, and then you're going to chain up one, two, and that's how you finish the baby blanket side, and that's how you finish row three on this pattern. Now we're going to, um, of course, we've got our chain two for our row four, and then we're going to turn our yarn. Now we're going to slip the stitch in the second chain, and um, then we're going to chain again. So we've got the um, one, let's see, this is one, two, okay? So the one right below your chain, your chains here, there's the first stitch. This is the second stitch. I want you to go in the second stitch and we're going to slip it. Okay, so I pull through some yarn and then I pull it through that stitch there. So that is a slip stitch, okay? Now, when uh, I finish that, I'm going to chain two. One, two, okay? That's it. Now we're gonna do the texture stitch. Um, we're gonna go fit it where it was supposed to go here, um, which would be right here, which is uh, right over one more. So you're gonna skip this one and go in. You're gonna still go into the same spot that you would normally have gone. And this was just to make a sort of a different, um, I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm rounding this out. So these wings, are going to get rounded out here. Okay, that's that's really all I'm doing. Uh, whoops. So now we're going to. I've done a single. I need to do a double. Okay. And a single. A double. I was just counting those because I thought maybe I was missing something. Okay, we've done the texture stitch twice. So the pattern says to do two. So I did one, two, and then single crochet. So a single crochet in where I would start that next one. That's it. Okay, now we're on to row five, which is chain two and double crochet twice, one, two, and then double crochet like you would normally. Okay. And then we're going to do the texture stitch one time. Okay. It's not over until we get the two doubles in there. Okay, and then we're going to fasten off. Okay, so I'm fastening that off. I'm taking my yarn and breaking it. Okay, and so that ends one wing. See that one wing? And then we're going to make two. And then once you, um, so you're going to weave your end in and um, tie your next one together here like this. So what this was is this one, and then you make two and tie them together, and that is your wing. You can also um, choose to keep them separate, of course. You don't have to have them together, um, or you could chain and, and connect them that way. So that's, that's completely up to you. Um, if you wanna stitch these two together, uh, you could do that. It's just, it's just a matter of like if I wanted to take my yarn here and use that to sew them together, I've got plenty to do that. So um, I hope you like that. Let's weave this in. So I'm going to weave in my end here and get it ready. Okay. All right. So we have got our wings. So I've got some uh, not so good wings with the red. <laughs> and then we've got our blue sweet wings. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to tie a knot or I can use it to stitch it in. Okay. And I just tie it nice and taut. Right back on itself. So that's not going to go anywhere. Okay. And then once I get those in, um, I'm going to crochet them in my, um, my tails. And um, I would say if you are going to use this as a costume or something, this would be really fun to do, um, like to add maybe a chenille stick that matches like a pipe cleaner or something, an art wire um, with or without the fuzz on it. And then you could maybe support it inside to where the wings could maybe stand up. Um, you could play with, with how they, how they work. Um, you could wet block this to get this to lay out flatter. Um, but all in all, it's just such a sweet project to do. Um, I'm so glad that you joined me today. If you make a set of <laughs> good or evil <laughs> wings, whatever you want, whatever you want to call this, this is fun though. I mean, if you could even do these for, um, a costume, um, idea. So, um, you can make them large again on the, um, super jumbo, uh, yarn, uh, with a jumbo needle or just use your regular, I'm sorry, a uh, hook or use your regular hook. Um, either one would be fun. So thank you again for joining me at Good Knit Kisses for the crochet wings tutorial. Have a great day and happy crochet.